from me, uh, brother. This is something that we need. You know, when you're in prison, uh -huh. when you begin to do things, 
you fight other people, uh-huh. you're doing what you want to do, right. they put you in solitary uh-huh. confinement. Yeah. All right. Right. So solitary confinement means isolated from human contact with wow. anyone on the outside. Wow. So you're in a hole. That's what we call it. I mean, anybody been, well, I haven't been in a hole. Don't tell me that. <laughs> but they, they call it the hole. And you go down there in solitary confinement, and down there is a bunch of you sleeping in this concrete, you urine, you all that mess that's in there. You you basically that's the way you're gonna be there until they let you out. Wow. And again, some of you guys are in solitary confinement. Wow. Jesus. You bound. You chained to your own stuff. Mm. Let me tell you this. Depression can put you in solitary confinement. Yes, it can. Yes, it can. Talk about I've dealt with this. Anxiety can put you in solitary confinement. Yes. It can keep you bound and you can't get out. Let me tell you, I'm going to let you look at this. You see, she changed, right? She changed. Yeah. She, this represents the change. Mm-hmm. The only way you can come out, come on. this is God. Ma. This is God. So if I say depression, if I, say, if I begin to worship God, because they said at midnight, uh-huh. he sang praises unto God. Uh-huh. It was the praises and his worship that that got them. Come on, preacher. So depression. Come on, Ma. You get free. Free. Come on, it's good. I want to do a prophetic. Um, I want to do a, a prophetic. Um, um, I'm sorry, you guys. A, 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 prophet, a prophetic decree. Uh-huh, uh-huh. No, act. We're going to call it an act. Uh-huh. Everybody stand up. Find somebody that you don't know or you're comfortable with. I want you to find somebody. Go find somebody. Now I'll tell you what we're going to do next. This is a faith move and a faith act. So only you can, it will only happen to the ones who believe. Now you got your partner? Got your partner? This is, we're going to do a Faith act. I mean, we're gonna do a prophetic act, and this is a paradigm shift. Paradigm shift means shift from one place to another. Wow! So God is gonna, if you believe, only if you believe, He's gonna shift you from one place to another. I want you to tell your partner, tell your partner, whatever struggle. They are, no, don't be out to me. Just go away. Whatever struggle they they are dealing with, tell it to your partner. Y'all verse up. Y'all do it to each other. And then, then I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna say next. Something you dealing with. Something you struggling with. Okay, y'all, y'all good? Yeah. Okay. I know it's a lot of stuff y'all probably got, but hey. Say after me. I, I say it with some authority. I, command, command you, you to shift, to shift now. now. Do you believe it? Yes. Hallelujah.
If you believe it, you will say hallelujah. Hallelujah! Okay, now go back to y'all seats. Believe it and receive it. So, if you want 
if you want, if you say you're coming out of this, he said, they sing praises unto me. And their bands was loose. Amen. Their hands was able to, to be to, to praise and worship God. But as long as you bound, you begin to be what? In prison. You are a convict, you are a detainee. Hmm? And you are in solitary confinement. We shouldn't, pastors shouldn't have to come up and, and convince us to worship. Amen. And the reason why he he, he talking to y'all, but y'all bound. Some of y'all bound. Amen. I look at y'all faces on the keyboard. And I've been looking at, I've been looking like y'all sucking on lemon. Sour lemon. <laughs> and, and, and worship is beautiful. Yes, it is. It's beautiful. We ain't gonna convince y'all to worship. Y'all gonna stay, you wanna stay bound? Look, you two, women, y'all talking about y'all going to confident woman. You can't go to confident woman and be bound. You can't be confident and be bound. Come on, we don't run together. You don't walk like this. See, a queen or a king walks with an air about themselves. They are confident. They got their head up. They, they never down. Right, right. That's good. If you don't take take what I'm saying and take the scripture, take these, what I have, what I have spoken to you guys, what I have commanded to you. You, you made a commandment and you made a decree, decree for yourself. Amen. Amen. So no longer we are chained. Yes. No longer we got chains on our feet. No longer we are we are chained in our mind, yes, our spirit. Yes, yes, yes. You guys, if you say you upgrade, don't downgrade. There you go. Yeah. Don't downgrade. Yes, upgrade. You first of all, before you upgrade, you gotta be free. You gotta be free. You can't you can't go upgrade and get things God God is upgrading you in your spirit and you bound. No. So. Don't be a don't be in, in solitary confinement. Smile, hug people, love people, and and embrace them. If if, if you see somebody down, go pray with them. Don't talk about people. Don't do none of that because God is watching. 